Hey everyone, super excited to show you how to get the old but gold Mac OS High Sierra on your Mac today. In this video, you will learn how to download Mac OS High Sierra. As of this recording, we have a problem with installing older Mac OS versions on newer systems, Monterey and beyond. When you're running a newer Mac OS version, like Mac OS Monterey, Mac OS Ventura, or even Mac OS Sequoia, you won't be able to download older versions like Mac OS Mojave or Mac OS Lion directly from the App Store. You will be greeted with this error. The App Store automatically checks your current Mac OS version and prevents you from downloading an older Mac OS installer if you're already running a newer version. The workaround for this is through using Mist, a Mac utility that automatically downloads Mac OS firmwares and installers. It can download those older versions directly regardless of the current Mac OS version on your Mac, bypassing this limitation. What you'll need for this guide is a Mac computer, about one hour of free time, a stable internet connection, at least 20 gigabytes of free space. Do a quick Google search for Mist Download. It will be the one on GitHub. The click the releases on the right side of the page. I will download the DMG version. And for those might be wondering or skeptical on this app, you can always do a virus check of this installer you can head over to VirusTotal.com and drag the file into that page. This will scan the file with over 50 online virus scanners. As you can see, it has no detected any malicious files inside, so it's pretty much safe to run it. Now let's open the Miss DMG file, and I will copy this into my desktop by dragging the file. Let's open the app by double-clicking it. This prompt will show, just click the Open button to run the app. This will now refresh the list of available firmwares and installer on the Apple servers. It should look pretty straightforward. There are two tabs. The firmwares contains the .ipsw, and on the installer tab are those file with .app, .dmg, .pkg, and .iso. Let's head over to the installer tab and scroll all the way down for High Sierra. You can see the latest or the last version that it was released, as well as the build number, the release date, and the file size of the installer. The disk icon on the right lets you create a USB installer after it downloads, then the icon next to it is to download the installer only. I will click this download icon. It will prompt you that this version is incompatible. With our current Mac OS, since I'm using Sequoia, just click Continue. You will be prompted with this privilege helper not installed. Click the Install button to proceed. Type in your password to continue. Let's click the download once again. You will now be prompted to give full disk access for the Mist app. You can click the Allow button. This will open up the system settings. You can click the plus icon and select the Mist app, which I saved on my desktop. It will prompt you to reopen the app. Click it and let's reopen the app manually. Mist will show you a list of available Mac OS versions. Going back to the installer tab, find Mac OS High Sierra on the list. This time, let's click the create USB installer button. We will not just download the installer, but do the creation of USB bootable altogether. Click continue once it prompted you that it's not compatible. On this part, allow me to insert my USB flash drive. Make sure to insert at least 16 gigabyte capacity. Click the refresh button on the right to check the inserted USB. It will now be seen on the drop down menu. Your USB flash drive should be formatted as Mac OS extended journaled as shown on the instruction in front of you. To do this, click the open disk utility button. Above it, click the settings and select show all devices and on the left side bar, locate the external disk. On my case was this SanDisk Cruiser. Click it once and click the Erase button, and from this pop-up, you can assign any name here, and for the format should be Mac OS Extended Journaled, and the scheme would be Guide Partition Map. Click the Erase button once done. Wait for it in a bit while formatting. You can click the Done button afterwards and close the disk utility at the same time. Click the Refresh button and choose our newly formatted drive, then click the Select button below it. Mist will begin downloading the installer file directly from Apple's servers. Just like with any large file, this might take a little while depending on your internet speed. You'll see a progress bar that shows how far along the download is. What I typically do when downloading any installer from Apple, I open up a terminal window and type ping swcdn.apple.com to potentially stabilize and speed up your download. During the download process, if your Mac stops communicating with the server for even a few seconds, the download can pause, or worse, it might fail. By constantly pinging the server, 
You're ensuring your Mac stays connected throughout the whole download process. It's like having a little helper who checks in with the server every so often to make sure everything is still on track. It's also a nice trick if you have a slightly flaky internet connection or if you're in an area with spotty Wi-Fi. The ping helps hold that connection steady until the download is done, making it less likely that the download will get interrupted midway. You can take a cup of coffee while waiting for the entire process of mist to take place. When it goes through the creation of the USB bootable, your USB will be renamed as Install Mac OS High Sierra. After the entire process succeeded, you can close Mist app. Now here is the glorious shiny Mac OS High Sierra. Let me give you a cool trick. Right click on High Sierra app, then select Get Info. Click this tiny icon, then press Command C on your keyboard. This will copy that icon on your clipboard. Now do a right click on the USB and select Get Info. Click icon from it, then make a command V to paste the icon. You will now have the icon of High Sierra on your USB installer. This video was recorded using Screen Studio. Check them up later. Guess what? You reached the end of the video tutorial. You may be interested on the video on the screen. Click on it and see you there.